اشهد ان لا اله الا الله daqui a pouco vai começar a chamada para oração é uma coisa assim muito especial e eu acho que vai ser bem legal para vocês acompanharem então vou começar daqui a pouco Sim, eu tô chorando, mas é porque, tipo, eu não acredito que eu tô aqui. Desculpa, gente. Essa é a chamada da oração aqui em Jeddah. E no raio de um quilômetro quadrado, existem 36 mesquitas. E durante o chamado, todas elas fazem o chamado juntas. Então você consegue ouvir 36 mesquitas fazendo o chamado para oração. continua aqui no topo do prédio. Eu quero mostrar um pouquinho para vocês aqui de cima. É muito incrível todo esse bairro histórico aqui de Albalad. Tá ventando um pouco, gente. Desculpa. Mas eu não tenho como não mostrar isso. <risos> né? Era ali em cima ó, que a gente tava sentado. Ainda dá para ouvir o chamado de algumas mesquitas aqui de lá, ó. Tem uma esquita super grande aqui. Muito intenso. Juro, muito intenso. É que essa visita a esse museu é privada Ele não é aberto, você não pode chegar no museu e falar Ah, eu quero conhecer, quanto que é, me deixa entrar Não é assim que funciona nesse museu Você tem que entrar em contato com eles com muita antecedência E eles só abrem para grupos Então toda vez que vem gente aqui É tipo um grupo grande de pessoas que vem e conhece o museu de uma vez só esposo da minha amiga conseguiu que a gente viesse aqui sozinho, só tem a gente aqui, é só a minha amiga, o esposo dela, a neném e eu. Ele, ele explicou para dona do museu, para a pessoa responsável, que tinha um canal no YouTube e que seria muito legal mostrar isso. Porque se você não tivesse assistindo, eu não ia ter um canal. E se eu não tivesse um canal, eu não estaria aqui. E vocês não estariam vendo isso agora. Então, muito obrigada por assistir. É, eu tive essa oportunidade de estar aqui desse jeito. Por causa de vocês. Então, muito obrigada. Eu nem sei se esse vídeo vai ficar bom, porque 
tá ventando muito aqui e o áudio normalmente fica muito ruim. As sunset approaches, Sammy wants me to experience Jeddah's unique call to prayer. Wow, what timing! From every direction. 36 mosques in one square kilometer. And oh, it's been calling for 1,400 years. Oh, it's beautiful. And it is the same word from the time of the Prophet. And look, people oh, closing look their this. shops, and everybody is going to pray. Oh, it's just magical. Thank you. It's such an incredible sight and sound that I find myself completely overcome. And soon they will be reading Quran and maybe one of them will be reading the story of Jesus and Mary because it's in the Quran and Moses. Look at the shop they're closing to go to pray. Huh? I feel quite moved. It is a nice experience. Beautiful. Yes. And it's authentic yes. and it's a uh, human. It's not recorded, so each guy is calling. And in the past, hundred years ago, before the introduction of the microphones, they used to go all the way to the top, and he calls. And then everybody hears. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Hany and you're currently watching Hany's Vlog. So today I'm going to be filming the Christian Adhan versus Muslim Adhan social experiment. In this video, we will have non-Muslims watch Muslim Adhan versus Christian Adhan video and they give us their reaction towards the end. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, thumbs it up, and turn on notifications. Don't forget. Let's go. What's your name, sir? Edwin. Edwin. Jeff. Jeff. Troy. Troy. Uh, All right. So for this video, I'm going to play the Christian Adhan versus Muslim Adhan. Let's give me reaction for you. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله حي على الصلاة
Nothing, any new thing yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, she would be on FaceTime with me at night where during Isha prayer yeah. and have doors and windows and everything closed and, and she like could you still hear the call. Oh. Well, we had three mosques closed, so yeah. all the all the oh, speakers, you like, well, you know, I'm the infidel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Living it, right? Yeah. So there's all pointed, uh, pointed at me, although I love all people. Yeah. Um, but tolerance and intolerance abounds no matter where you're at. Yeah. So in Riyadh, I found uh, many people who were intolerant yeah. uh, and many people who were tolerant. I also traveled with them and found they were different sometimes when I traveled out of the country. That's no different than walking up down the river walk. Yeah. You're going to find tolerant and intolerant people. Yeah. And you find ignorant people on both sides. Yeah. Every race, every religion. Everywhere Absolutely. You, go. Uh, uh, you probably didn't know that I knew what El Bakiha was. Oh, you're a Muslim. Oh, wow, that's cool. And, uh, I grew up in the nation of Islam back in the 60s from Apple. Elijah died. I grew up in the nation of Islam. Okay. But uh, the Christian call, call the prayer sound to me like somebody hitting you in your head. You know, you get hit in the head and you hear, you hear, you hear the bells or, 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 see, or see, see the stars and stuff. But, 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 but the El Fakihar, the Muslim call the prayer is like a poetry that God is calling you to him to worship him. You know, so it's like a positive thing to me as opposed to getting hit in the head. Obviously, that's a negative thing to me, you know, and anybody else who actually paying attention to what what's going on. Yeah. That's that that's that's my reaction. They don't want me to understand you. They yeah. don't want you exactly. to understand. They want us to be playing the whole time. They don't want us to be united the whole time. They don't want us to be friends. That's what Islam teaches us. Yeah, that's what Islam talking about. But what the media is doing is they're portraying a different image and they're trying to make us look like the bad guys. When in reality the government is 
Yeah. They the bad guys. Yeah, they the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Islam is a religion of peace. Yeah. yeah. People, the thing is, they don't take a minute or a second out of the day to just actually do some research, you know, and meet a Muslim or something. They don't want to do that. They just put their eyes in front of the TV and just... Well, you know, America is a racist society yeah. based on racism. It's all about division and... and Get who's money. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's about. It's a money game. No, not. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. It's not about love. Yeah, you're right. They don't want me to love you. Exactly. You're right. You're right. They want us to be separated the whole time, fighting and, and fighting each other. Yeah. I appreciate your reaction, we, man. That's we, the best we, we not. We not gonna do that. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That was our first uh, yeah. experience. We just walked into the mall, and I don't know, maybe it's fate. <laughs> just kidding, Mom. <laughs> that was the first time we got to hear a call of prayer, and it was at the mall. How funny is that? All right. Yeah, look at that. It's a lion. It's a, it's a leopard. It's a leopard. You say bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Ashhadu an la 